hey everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to make a garlicky stuffed vegetable pasta recipe i hope you guys enjoy it firstly i have kept garlic chili and ginger to coarsely grind them and some veggies like carrots capsicum onions chili and cabbage and this is the pasta which i'll be making today this is the stuffed pasta which i got from the supermarket and it is filled with cheese and tomatoes you can use any pasta which you like and make this recipe for making the recipe i am using two pans first to fry it and the second pan to boil the pasta I have coarsely grind the garlic and I have also taken out peas and sweet corns to add in the pasta. So let's start making the pasta. Firstly I will switch on the flames for both the pans. Now I will add some oil and let the oil heat up and in the meantime I have also kept out some chili flakes, black pepper and oregano. Now I am adding the pasta to the boiling water. This is half cooked pasta so it doesn't need to be boiled much. It will take only 6 minutes to get boiled. In the meanwhile I am frying my veggies. Firstly I have put some onions and chilies in the pan and I will saute them. After that I will add my garlic paste into it. I am using a fresh garlic because it tastes better. When you grind the garlic this way it sticks to the pasta very well. And I am checking on my pasta as well. I will saute the garlic for few minutes. Now I will start adding my veggies into the pan. Firstly I am adding carrots because carrots take more time to get cooked. After that I am adding my peppers. I will saute them very well. It's very important that you keep checking your pasta. After that I will add all the veggies, the cabbage into the pan and in last I will add the peas and the sweet corn. As they are frozen they don't take much time to get cooked. I will cover the veggies for a few minutes so that it is nicely cooked. Remember that we don't have to cook veggies completely, we have to keep them crunchy. Now I will add some salt, some chili flakes and some black pepper. By then the pasta is also boiled. Now I will drain it and immediately to the pan taste very good if you eat it immediately when it's hot. I will add some oregano and the pasta and mix it very well. After mixing it very well I will immediately serve it. Look how delicious it is looking. You can make this recipe with any pasta you have and in the end I will add in the end I will sprinkle some cheese on the pasta. I hope you all will like this recipe and try to make it. I will see you all in my next video. Till then, bye.